Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and let's play a fun quick little game that goes by the name of Skyroads, made in 1993 by Blue Moon Software. And you're probably wondering, what in the hell is this? It is one of the most awesome games ever. And it was, it defines what my childhood was like, growing up on games made in the MS-DOS era. Not this Windows bullshit that we got now. Anyways, the premise of this game is you have a spaceship. You need to go to the end of the level in any way that you can while av avoiding some of these things. So, finding blue squares is good, because that'll give you supplies. Green ones are good, or the light green ones are good, the dark green ones are bad. Uh, the gray ones are kind of, sort of bad, not really, and the red ones are really bad. I'll explain them in a minute. Anywho, let's start it up. So, don't worry about all the circles that you see on some of these. That just signifies how many times you've beaten the level, and obviously I've played this a few times, so... Here we go. It's really loud. So what you have here, you have a ship. You can go faster or slower. Your gravometer over there signifies how heavy the gravity is. The gravity, the gravity, I'm sorry. What you need to do is just kind of navigate your way to the end of the level. If you can do that, the road's completed. No problem there, yeah? Well, God, I've beaten that level six times already. Jesus. Jesus, penis. It gets a little bit harder, though, sometimes. That little gauge over there on the far left, the one that's kind of filling up with the purple stuff right now, that shows your progress in each level. Obviously, if it gets to the end, well, then it gets to the end. These blue squares right here will refill your fuel and oxygen. Obviously, if your fuel runs out, then you're going to die. You'll lose control of your ship, and it's just going to explode and or fall off the map. That's what happens. So try to get through the level as quickly as humanly possible without being a, a dumbass about it. Just kind of be, be sensible. The light red squares. You need to avoid those at all costs. These ones right here. If you hit them, you'll immediately die. So you need to find ways around those. They'll make it hard for you, though. I, I promise you. And I believe that means that we've covered a couple of these now. The, uh... Not these gray ones, but the darker gray ones. Those ones actually won't allow you to steer left or right. So be careful with that. I believe they call those slippery squares in this game. I already done with one zone. Into the sun we go! So, there are light green squares in here. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, these, these ones don't hit, don't hit those. If you hit those, you will lose control of your ship and you're likely going to die immediately. So don't do not do that. Those are the slippery squares I told you of. Um, the light green ones. I don't know where they're at. I don't think we see those for another zone or two, possibly. Those ones will actually make you accelerate to full speed. I don't know what they call those. They just, they are what they are. And then the dark green ones will make you slow down, so kind of be wary of those. All other colored squares do absolutely nothing, they're just there for show. So yes, that is the premise of this entire game, you just need to find a way to the end of the level. Be careful with some of the ones in tunnels though, because that could get you into trouble. Ah, crap. And if you hit walls directly like that, you're going to explode, because not a lot of spaceships can really take that sort of thing. Though I'd love to know what type of spaceship can jump, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, that was close gonna be uh... so yeah I mean it's it's a fun little game it doesn't really involve a lot of like mental str mental strain or anything like that you kinda just uh... you know take a load off you don't have to use too much of your brain power for it and that's why I liked it because I think the first time I played this game I was probably like I don't know when this game came out I was only five years old so I'm sure that probably the first time I played it I was probably like seven or eight and I just thought it was awesome like I do I, I love the graphics I mean Considering that this game was made in 1993, it's obviously, you know, not going to be like Call of Duty Xbox 360 graphics, obviously, but for 1993, this is pretty damn good. And it has a solid soundtrack to it, so, I mean, you can't go wrong there. Ooh, our gravity went down a little bit, so now we're going to be jumping a little bit higher. Going to be like NBA player status now. Oh boy, oh boy, ugh, I didn't like that. I don't like the ones that make you make really quick decisions. Those can get nasty. Alright, god, we're, all, <laughs> we're almost halfway done with the game. 
and I've just gotten started. But don't worry, these levels are going to get drastically, drastically more difficult. I promise you. There's going to be some that you're just going to be like, I don't even know how you're even supposed to beat that. Watch out for the red squares. Watch out for these ones. Ah! Oh. Ah! See what I mean? They'll, they'll give you strange little patterns that are just really awkward to try to figure out. But that's part of the fun of it. Back in the good old days of having MS-DOS and Windows 95, before any of like the major Windows operating systems came out, this is what people were stuck with. <laughs> and I loved it. I loved it. I remember back in the days when I had one of the original Macintoshes. <laughs> that was something for... That was a real spectacle for the eyes, let me tell you what. Okay. There were a lot of real gems, though, that they made for MS-DOS. I, I could go on forever about it, but I'm not going to. Ah! See, that's the light, one of the light green squares. That'll speed you up to maximum. So, be very careful with it. God! They'll put them in weird places, too. So you gotta, gotta be on your toes there. So now we're done with three zones. We're moving to the satellite. Which I don't think we're going to be moving on a satellite. But you get the idea. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, see, they're gonna get crazy like that. They're hiding the path. They gotta make it all weird. There's a level somewhere in here. I don't know what, what zone it's in, but they make it difficult. Like, oh shit, I took the wrong side. <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah, see, they, they kind of make you do... It's a very, like, trial and error-esque type of game. They just they make you kind of figure things out just by experimentation. Oh, boy. Don't speed me up like that. I think this is actually the one I was thinking of. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. They give you certain things where you just... You gotta find out how it's gonna work. And especially because of the fact that they threw it you know, full speed on you like that, that's not very fair. Because they don't really, you don't really assume that that's going to happen until it just does, and I just killed myself. <sighs> Damn it all. We're gonna, we're gonna get it. We're just gonna get it. Okay. Just gotta get through this, and then we can start to slow down. Slow down! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that is hard. This has been this is the one that I think has given me the most trouble over my tenure of playing this game. And actually, now that I think about it, I've never beaten it before. It was a game that at a certain point when I was when I was a young kid, if a game frustrated me that bad, I just I gave up on it. <laughs> Slow down. Oh my god. There we go. That's how you do it. Good gravy. We got it though. That's all that matters. In one video, I'm almost halfway done with this whole game. Unbelievable. Oh god, not this one. Whoa! <laughs> Forgot about that. Our gravity's down to 100, so we're gonna be... We're gonna be jumping like we're on the moon right now. Or a satellite, even. <laughs> it's so hard to control yourself. Just the smallest movement could be the most fatal. Yes! There we go. Um, I don't like this. Shit. Oh my god, I landed right on the end of it. <laughs> that was great. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Are we gonna make it? I don't know if we're gonna make it or not. Oh shit, we're almost out of gas. Oh no, we're gonna... We're not gonna make it. Crap. Oh, we were so close, too. We ran out of oxygen, too. Oh. So we just... We have to be really proactive on this one. We can't... We can't take it slow, we just gotta go quickly. Let's see if we can't just kind of cheat the thing out. Oh no! <laughs> That's the downside. You can't you can't adjust while you're in mid-air. You have to like start moving before you make the jump, otherwise you're totally screwed. So don't think you can just kind of jump and then... Oh god. I looked away from the screen for half a second, I get myself killed. Alright. Can we do it? 
Be smarter than the road, Adam. Be smarter than the road. There we go. Come on, get back in the middle. Jeez. You lying piece of shit. Oh, boy. Here we go. Now I need to speed up. Speed up. Here we go. Oh, God. We're really off-center. Still really off-center. Almost out of gas. Still almost out of gas. Yes! We got it! All right. Excelente. We'll finish up the satellite zone, and then we'll be out of time, because I'm not trying to make these 20-minute videos. I'd like to spread it out a little bit, just because I said so. And now our... It looks like our gravity's back to normal. Oh, no! Ugh, I went the wrong way again. That doesn't help the cause any. Oh, no! I know what this one is. This one's actually pretty difficult, if I'm not mistaken. You gotta go off this way. And then you gotta go this way. Yeah, this one's the one that's a pain in the ass, because it makes you adjust your speed in the middle of it. <laughs> bullshit. I call, I call bullshit on that. I'll give this one two more tries, and if I don't get it, well, then you'll just have to wait. Actually, we'll both have to wait. This level's so damn hard. There we go. Again, this is one that you have to be really quick about, otherwise you're going to run out of gas. Which I know I'm probably going to, because I've only beaten this one a handful of times. And that's where you have to go in order to get gas. That's the part that sucks. Because, unfortunately, you can't do that one without going... You have to go left. You can't do it going right. And that's what sucks. Here's our final attempt for the evening. If we can do it. There we go. Yeah, dog. Okay. Got our... Fuel's only already halfway empty. Bullshit. Okay, here's where it gets... No, oh, come on. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm out of time for now. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you for watching my dive into MS-DOS land. And I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Skyroads. See you later, guys. Have a good one.